folks. Thanks for joining me today. So today is day six. We're halfway through and we're that much closer to Christmas. So I hope everyone has got all of your Christmas shopping done. Um, you're ready for that big meal or maybe you're having many big meals. Um, but it, uh, it's looking a lot like Christmas up here in Northern Ontario. We finally got some um, significant snowfall, so it's looking a lot much, a lot more like Christmas. So I hope uh, everything is going well with you. And um, yeah, so this is, like I said, day six. So what I'm doing is I am using a dark blue color and I am doing sort of like a half moon shape. And then I put on a lighter blue color on the top of it because I want it to fade from dark to light from bottom to top. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just sort of uh, sponging it on with my finger dauber. And you can get those from Amazon. There is a link in the description below. And uh, I'm just putting it on. This is just the background. So I know I've said in a previous video that I'm really enjoying the different techniques I get to play with for background colors. And this is just another one of those um, techniques that I wanted to try. It's, you know, so much can be done with um, blending and shading and heck, maybe even doing solid color and seeing what you get from that. Uh, just fun stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm very happy that I've been able to do these different backgrounds and provide them to you as a tutorial. So if you want to use them in anything else other than what I'm painting today, uh, go for it. Um, try out these different techniques. Uh, it's going to be so amazing to see how things turn out. So you would have just uh, watched me put on a top coat of the sparkle um, varnish and I let that completely dry before I sketched my design. Now uh, when I did this I used a the general's charcoal pencil. I used white and I'm sorry that I lost that part of the footage of me drawing it but um, it it is on there with the General's charcoal pencil. So you would have seen by the thumbnail that we are painting the famous Olaf. And uh, he's just another one of those uh, really famous snowmen. Um, he's right up there with Frosty, I guess. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something fun and playful. And this is what I decided to do. So I hope you give it a try. If you don't, um, that's okay. Uh, definitely, I would love to see anything else that you've done. Um, you can head on over to my Facebook page and you can post any of your finished products on there. Uh, I, I'm so interested to see what you guys come up with uh, from watching some of my tutorials um, because like I said in many other ones, it's the biggest compliment I could get as an artist is to see your artwork that you've come up with from my tutorials. So please share, share, share. I would really, really like to see uh, what you have come up with or what you've learned uh, with the tips and tricks and techniques that I've provided. So um, what I did was after I drew my sketch on there, I put a base coat of uh, titanium white uh, all, for all of his body. And then I'm just using a brown, I believe it's a dark spice brown, um, but all of my colors are listed in the description below. So definitely go down there for the exact color and the brand name. So each brand name is a little bit different in their consistency of their paints. Um, but if you don't like a consistency within your paint, let's say it's too thick, you just add a couple of drops of water just to thin it out a bit. Or you can use... Um, some other products that are on the market. Uh, I do use a floating medium sometimes. Um, it slows the drying down, drying time down as well. Uh, so anyways, um, I sponged on a second coat of the white just to clean it up and get rid of those brush strokes. And now I'm putting on his big smiley, 
happy face and I'm just using a gray because what what I've noticed in snow is um, to do black into it is kind of like um, it's the wrong kind of a shadow when we're dealing with snow so you either go with a gray or a blue um, a lighter blue uh, or a gray so I decided to go with the gray it was a bit too dark so I added a little bit more white and now I'm sponging it out and it actually turned out really well because it gave me that dark outline that I wanted although I will be you know outlining it with black a little bit later so um, but it gives me a nice starting point just a little reminder here to hit that thumbs up if you like this video if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell because it'll give you a notification every single time I post something new now I gotta wait for the mouth to dry that I've put the shading in there so while I'm waiting for it to dry it's time to outline Olaf with black paint. So I just used my fine lining brush. I've added a little bit of water so that the paint does flow a little bit easier. And oops, made a mistake there. I will fix that up later. Um, actually, I think he's a little too fat. So I'm going to take that part off and um, sort of slim him down, put him on a keto diet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> But anyways, he's just too big. So um, I finished outlining uh, all the way around uh, his body um, and I do his arms and his face and a little tuft of hair. So I will be getting rid of that extra left side of his body there. Maybe it's his love handle. Um, so I will be erasing that. And all I do is even though the paint's been dried, because I put on the um, sparkle glaze on before I started painting it, it acts like a sealer. So I just have to be just a little bit careful, but I, I can scrape this off with a little bit of water on a Q-tip, and I just rub a little bit harder than I normally would if it was wet. So um, I did end up uh, removing some of the background paint as well, but because it's in the solid color part of the, the background, I was able to just touch it up and then reapply some of the sparkle varnish and everything was good. You don't even notice it. So again, acrylic paints, amazing. You can paint over top of them, you can fix them up, whatever you need to do. But now you can see his love handle is gone and uh, you don't really notice that um, there was anything there that I took away. So I love acrylic paints. It's just amazing what you can do with them. And at, I have not found something I could not do with them. So um, I think it's safe for me to say that acrylic paint has endless opportunities. So um, yeah, so back to Olaf here. We've got to uh, put in his teeth and um, I have a little difficulty with his face, his nose, his eyes, that sort of thing. But I do get it um, and I fix it all up. So uh, just keep watching, bear with me. You're going through the process that I went through and you know, not every painting is gonna be perfect first try and it is all about practice and it's all about um, redoing it or fixing it up or whatever you feel like maybe it's even time to walk away do something else and then come back to it so you have a fresh mind on it um, whatever works for you you do you um, but i just had so much fun creating this guy even though he was a bit of frustration in his face but i got it so uh, I just wanted to let you go, you guys know that, you know, it doesn't always work out the way you want it to be, but you just go with it and, and he will. So as you can see now, I've got to sort of tidy up in the inside of his mouth. And now that the paint had dried, I decided to go with the darker gray because I put the thick line, black line on the outside to the left there just to give it some depth. And um, so I can go with the dark gray now for the shading inside his mouth. 
And the tools that I'm using now to make his eyes are just the tools that I purchased from the dotting center. They're the dotting tools that I use quite often. Um, there is a link in the description below. And if you buy, make sure you use my discount discount code. Sorry guys, I'm having a bit of a tongue-tied day. <laughs> so anyways, uh, make sure you use my discount code and you'll get 10% off. Um, so now I'm putting in some shadowing uh, around his belly and on his feet and stuff. Um, and I'm just using the, the lighter gray and then I'm going back in with a little bit of white just to sort of soften that up. And um, so I have a dark edge of the gray, but that it fades into the white. I do the same thing uh, around his buttons or coal buttons, I guess. And I do the same on his nose when I get to putting his nose on, but I did this backwards. So what I did was I put his shading for the nose on first, then I painted his nose on after. So you'll see me do that uh, very shortly uh, as I move, move up his body with doing all the shadows. But uh, it was just easiest for me to do it that way. And then wherever the shadow doesn't need to be for his nose, I could just paint over it with white paint. And that's what I did. So I'm just sharpening up the, um, the black coal buttons because when I was doing the shading around them, I sort of dabbed a little bit of paint on there. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Um, outlining where the uh, paint had smudged over when I was doing my blending. And again, the cool thing about acrylic paint, just paint over top of it, makes it right nice crisp lines, but you still have that blending that's in there too. As long as you don't go over into the background too much, you can usually get away with that. So, um, it was just a matter of quick cleanup uh, using the black and my fine lining brush and yeah now I'm putting his nose on and you'll notice that a lot of the shading that I originally put on is gone now because it didn't match where I had put his nose so now I'm finishing up his eyes and you'll see that the shadowing for his nose is now where it's supposed to be and I am now outlining his nose and I've got his laugh lines in. They're a bit thick, so I will go in with a bit more white paint just to thin those out. And I finish it off with, um, oh yes, his eyebrows. Can't forget his eyebrows. Uh, but I finish it off with um, this uh, really white, I think it's enchanted white uh, sparkle paint. And I just put it on the white parts um, as if it's like a, the light side of the shading and that's what I do all over on the right side of his body. Um, his feet uh, I do up around his face like his his mouth and on around his eyes. So it just adds that little bit after it's been resined you can really see the sparkle and the shine in this guy and oh so beautiful so um i just wanted to uh quickly let everybody know that my etsy shop will be back up and running as of january um, i was doing a lot of craft shows and was running out of stock real quick so um, keep an eye on that and um, there you have it folks life is what you make it so get creative